Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we can discuss the previous question for the posture scientific officer biology in forensic science laboratory and the examination was held on 11th April 2013. At that time the examination was conducted only for one post but at present 16 vacancies are available for the posture scientific officer biology. So this is comparatively higher ever in the history of forensic science laboratory. I wish you all the best for you people. Thank you. Okay, let us start. Yes. Here is your first question and the question is the fixative most commonly used in term is term is nothing but transition electron microscopy. Term is widely used to study the internal structure of the cell. Especially the cell organelles. You know that SEM, SEM is scanning electron microscopy. It is used to study the external structure of the cell. Okay. So, in term, the fixative user is the aldehyde derivative. So, when you are looking at this particular question, you can see that there are three aldehyde mentioned in the option. They are acetaldehyde, glyceraldehyde and glutaraldehyde. But the most appropriate answer is the glutaraldehyde. Then how this glutaraldehyde uh, uh, act as a fixative? This glutaraldehyde react with the amino group of basic amino acids such as arginine and lysine and produces cross-linked protein. Okay, this cross-linkage maintains the proper fixation. Proper fixation. So, the correct option is the D. That is the glutaraldehyde. Here is your second question. Presbuskis is, it's a condition as a person get older and older, you can see hearing impairment, loss of hearing abilities. That condition is known as presbuskis. Okay, so when you are analyzing the four options, you can see that the correct answer is the fourth option. That is hearing loss due to old age. As a person get older and older, we can see hearing impairment, loss of hearing abilities gradually and that condition is known as press viscosis. Okay, so the correct option is D. The answer is D. Let us discuss the next question. The standard deviation if then the options are root mean square deviation, mean square deviation, square of variance, square of mean square deviation. To find out the standard deviation, at first you have to work out the mean, that is simple average of those numbers given, then subtract the mean and square the result. Then work out the mean of the square difference, then take the square root. Okay, then we will get the actual standard deviation. For calculating standard deviation, we find out the mean, that is the average of the value, then we squared the value and finally we took the root of the value. So, the correct answer for this question is option A, root mean square deviation. Okay. The next question is, the mineral deposit that is transported to a site by wind is called. Okay, now we can check the options. First option is colluvial deposit. Colluvial deposits are those depositor, deposits usually deposited by the action of gravity. Okay, and the option B is Eolian deposit. These are the actual deposit which are get deposited by the activity of wind. So the correct answer is B. Okay, the option C is alluvial deposit. These are the sediments which are deposited by the action of a river. Okay, and the final option, glacial deposit, they get deposited by the activity of moving glacier, that is large icebergs, isn't it? Okay, so for this question, the correct option is the option B that is the Eolian deposit and these deposits are get deposited by the activity of wind. The fifth question is occurrence of a single act of reproduction during the lifetime of an organism is called. Okay, based on the active reproductive period or active reproductive episodes, the organism can be classified into two types and they are simul parity and itero parity. Simul parity means those organisms having a single reproductive episode during the entire life cycle. 
okay whereas heteropathy means organisms are having multiple reproductive episode in their entire life cycle so simulpathy and heteropathy are the zoological term when we come to botany uh, the term which is um, similar to simulpathy is what monocarpic the plants which are having the capacity to produce seeds and fruit only one time uh, within the entire life cycle okay and the uh, term of botany related to heteropathy is polycarpic those plants having the capacity to produce fruits and seeds uh, multiple times several times in in their entire life cycle okay so for this question the correct option is c that is simple parity the remaining questions and this discussion will be uploaded as early as possible and if you are feeling worthy of my video please like share and subscribe and uh, for getting notification immediately please uh, press that uh, bell button thank you keep in touch